Hi, Anna Keith. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. I'm sure you know that CLNP has done everything it can to say they've learned their lesson, but promises are not going to be enough. On a beautiful day like today, it was pretty hard to think about this. But state lawmakers are moving ahead with proposals to require CLNP and other utilities to have minimum standards in regulation and law for emergency preparation and restoring services. I think the public spoke loud and clear that they expect more from us than where we were during those two storms. The state DOT and CLNP are on a much more aggressive tree trimming program now. And part of the agreement allowing CLNP's parent company, Northeast Utilities, to merge with Boston-based NSTAR calls for regular trimming. We've heard it loud and clear from our customers following the, the storms. You know, certain things to me need to be done. We've made those commitments, and we're moving forward with those commitments. But lawmakers say agreements and tree trimming now that those storms are still fresh in our memory is not enough. There needs to be a standard, an expectation of what amount of tree trimming would be done annually. Without the tree problem, we would not have had the storm problem. CLNP says they have revamped their plans for calling in help for emergencies. But lawmakers want specifics in regulations and are moving toward authorizing utility regulators to develop those rules, plus standards for getting the lights back on and penalty fines if they are not met. But specifically what those standards and what those penalties will be is yet to be determined. But CLNP and Northeast Utilities uh, is on the record is saying that they live with these kinds of rules and fines in Massachusetts and they're willing to live with them here. But of course, they will have a lot of input with the state regulators once the regulators get these marching orders from the legislature. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.